Welcome to Dryden, Ontario on the Wabagoon chain of lakes. This vast system offers unbelievable multi-species opportunities that are seldom explored in the winter months. The Wabagoon is one of the best tournament destinations I've ever been to, and I always talk about returning during the deep freeze. I finally have the opportunity. I'm gonna meet up with some old friends and finally explore this beautiful destination. Honey under. Nice bud. Here comes a big fish. Got him. All right, welcome to Dryden, Ontario. I'm charged up for this trip. It's been a long time coming. Had her circled on the calendar for a while. This is uh, a really cool place. I actually grew up around these parts, you know, in Dryden and, and never really fished the goon. Never thought when I moved to Lake of the Woods that I'd be excited to come back and fish Wabagoon. But they have an incredible fishery here. There's a couple cool things going on right now. One is the tagged fish contest. Uh, that's going to be part of the part of the protocol this weekend. One thing that's really been happening here lately is the a crappie boom. Super excited to get out there and hunt them down a little bit. Um, I've never had a concerted ice fishing effort on Wabagoon, so where Dryden is is really pretty much on the northern limit of where crappies are. It's a really cool place. It's got all the city comforts, you know, lots of places to stay and places to eat, and tackle shops, and uh, everything to you know accommodate you. I don't know about you, but I'm, you know, I'm getting a little bit soft. I don't really want to go out in the middle of nowhere, winter camp or anything like that. I kind of like to uh, roll out of bed, rip a coffee at the drive through and, uh, you know, carry about my way and not have to worry about, you know, packing a bunch of stuff and you can just wheel up anywhere for dinner. So, uh, really cool place in that regard. We're not going to go far from town at all today. Meeting a couple buddies are probably waiting on me now. I'm going to rip this coffee, offload the sled and we'll see you out there to unhinge the Wabagoon chain. All right, here's the report. We're out on the Waba. I gotta be honest, we thought we were just gonna wheel up and catch a bunch of crappies in minus 30, and well, we mostly just froze all our gear and gave up in the first hour, and now we're walleye fishing. It's, uh, it's a new lake. We got a, a project to tag some fish. I don't want to go chase, you know, fish around all day and, and not have this uh, this contest rolling here, eh, bud? Yeah, yeah, we gotta take some fish. Yeah, That's... then we could take the stress off, you let her warm up a little bit, like chasing crappies around, live scoping a minus 30, ain't a, a real great plan. We're getting a little bit soft, just kind of want to sit down. This lake's unbelievable for walleyes, so we should, uh, should have some good luck, maybe. I got John Engstrom with me here, childhood buddy, walleye master's partner. Uh, also doesn't live here and you ever think we'd be coming back to the Waba to go ice fishing? Oh, I never did. The nostalgia is in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got to smarten up our approach, maybe harden up a little bit, but we'll, yeah. uh, we'll take the soft route here. We're going to put a couple thousand dollar tags and some fish, maybe a five thousand dollar tag. Uh, you can see the old, the staple there, the big mill in the background. We're not, like I said, we're not going down the lake. There's 150 shacks on the ice, ice road over there, so Hopefully uh, tag up one of these meat mongrels here and it goes swims through there and makes someone's day. Let's get on her. You gotta get a tag too, 20 bucks. As soon as you see this, you better buy one because there have been people that have caught them without and uh, they're kicking themselves. Riley. <laughs> 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 All right, we got Brandon Cam too. He's being a little bit of a hermit back there. <laughs> Told him he's gotta wear a chest camera and all that and he's he's not into it. So we'll break he's him in. He's got a line down, he's got a line down. Yeah. No wonder he didn't make the end. What? What are you doing? That's a short one. <laughs> I guess we're not tagging that one. Beautiful Kronzer to start her off. Better uh, quit loop tubing and get fishing here. You see down here, had to weenie and roast the live scope. Look at this. It's so cold out there, that hole hop, and I got a, like an inch of ice built up on the stem <laughs> this fall. So conditions are not optimal for outdoor angling. Couple rods, nothing crazy. Got a little history on the goon. I know they like a little shot of inky orange down there. It's a VMC rattle spoon. Gonna put a minter head on it. And then the old clack shot. Oh yeah. Buddy's playing for keeps. He is playing for keeps. If I mess this one up. I don't deserve to be tagging. He's got it. I'm going to give him a little minute to chew on that big minner. 
Got him. Hooked up, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that gray ghost. <laughs> First winter goon walleye in many a year. That's what you call an ice road special right there. It is a treat catching him in shallower water in the daytime. That's just a little one. I'm going to slide him back tag free. It's his lucky day. No tag and uh, not going to be eaten. So happy to be on the board. Little clack shot eater. Lots of fun. Better than uh, freezing like we were doing for the first hour of the day. See you later, buddy. This lake is an unbelievable numbers lake. I mentioned we come here for that walleye tournament and there's plenty of days where you catch a hundred walleyes a day. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. They stay pretty much shallow. The water's so dark that, you know, it's not like a clear water lake where they, they slide out deep all year. It's uh, pretty much shallow all, all around. They bite all day. It's a uh, pretty primo destination, I'd say. Tinkering on my settings and one comes slinking on in. Might be a tagger. Oh yeah. Oh, I got a eater. I guess that's what we're tagging though. We better do some tagging. Yeah. Like I'm too much of a meat monger. I just wanna <laughs> just wanna shore lunch that guy. Ah, we better do it right. Someone will catch that. Yeah, why we're, not? We're in the right zone. You can't keep anything over over 18. Uh, in between 18 and 23 is the slot on Wabagoon. How long is she? 14 incher as predicted. Usually the kind I like for the pan, but yeah, those are good. I'll do uh, any of the fine anglers come into the Dryden area solid and throw my shore lunch back for you. Put your 20 bucks in, buy your little walleye bingo card. I'd probably just head over to the ice road. This guy looks like he wants to head that way. And uh, we'll talk him back for you. <laughs> we really had to get away from the crowd out here. <laughs> There's, we haven't seen a soul since we left the ice road. Tag her on deck. Yeah, let's put her on the board. It's going to be close to 18. Okay, BK. Show us the money, critter. Put her on the bump? Yep. Whoo, decent under. 17 and a half. 17 and a half. I'd say that's an ideal tagger. Well, Lay him up there, bud. Thousand dollar critter. Maybe a little more if you catch him in the walleye masters. That's a honey under. Beauty. Nice, bud. We're just hopping around. Left the first spot, Brand. You know, the first spot Brandon showed us, and we caught a couple. And now we just hopped over here and pick a circle on the map and start jigging. And that one was in ten. We're catching them in twenty. This place is pretty sweet. Oh, here we go. We're on, Ron. Yeah. Look at that. That's when you know they ain't getting fish for when they eat a spoon like that. You just see the line to gums. <laughs> Look at that. All right, bud. Much like a, like a hand liner or a, a seal hunter. Tip down. Every you know. local has their nostalgic favorite. Here we have the Sherwood and Door Spring. Tip down. Been going higher off bottom lately, about a foot. Set your drag here with this wing nut. Yeah, that's nice. Nice and loose so they can run with it if you don't see it right away. And Ooh, I didn't know that was a feature. So when I walked into Dale's bathroom this morning and swung the door open, she near went through the drywall. <laughs> He's got all the springs invested into uh, ice fishing equipment. Hello, Cheney Pickerel. Is that under? That's over 29 and a half though, hey? Oh, I don't know my pike so well. Hot hand up here on the peak. We're gonna be hawking in on you. 
up on top of the hump. That's a nice one in the slot. No tag for you. Bye. Thanks. Beauty. All right, we're putting a bowl on her. Good day, uh, beating up eaters, running around, lots of fun, bunch of different water. Not gonna show, show us swinging on the same 14 inch or 100 times, you get the point. A uh, little bit of currency back in the Wabagoon. Don't forget to grab your tags. I'll uh, link the information below, maybe throw something up here on the screen. And uh, yeah, real good deal. I mean, we caught them. Ice roads right there from the government dock. Um, definitely attainable for anyone to, uh, to get out here and hunt them down. You don't need a bunch of gear. We got the electric playground going here with all kinds of gear. You don't need that. Get out, use one of John's uh, legacy, legacy setups and eighth ounce orange jig or a clack shot or something, something of the sorts. Put a piece of meat on there, and as long as you have your ticket in your hand and you catch that fish, you could be uh, coming home with a few bucks. We're just grabbing, uh, stopping at the arches here, grabbing a coffee and an agar. Sun's already up, we should be out crappie fishing, but it's day two. John tells me the uh, McDonald's drive through in Dryden can accommodate a at least a 20 foot boat trailer. In the summertime. Oh, he's backtracking. <laughs> we have to pop the curb a little. <laughs> I'll tell you though, it is nice. I've talked about this. Um, you know, this is kind of my big ice fishing trip for the weekend. And she's nice to have the comforts because I'm not always the best prepared guy. So uh, having some contingency plans in place and I didn't even have to bring coffee. Got your meat? leave home without him. <laughs> I've been making fun of John for uh, oh, for, to nice. for nice. toting minnows around and uh, he asked me before we started he's like well how do I act on it? it's my first lube tube video how do I act and I just said be yourself and he's like well I've been <laughs> fishing with minnows yesterday I'll be fishing with minners today so that's the first stop we're at uh, Clark's Bait and Tackle super busy place this morning nice setup on the uh, on the highway here Another really good tackle store in, in town, Queen Street Laundry. Uh, yeah, really accommodating there. Got everything you need and we are, are heading out. We're gonna branch out. We had a good day walleye fishing yesterday. You know, set the hook a bunch. We didn't get any monsters or anything, but we got some tags in. Uh, we got some money swimming around close to the ice road in, in Dryden. And today we're, we're gonna hopefully get a crappie going. Yesterday we gave it a quick hour. Uh, and it was, I mean, it was minus 30. You could, the ice buildup was on everything. We were just in over our heads. It's fine if you want to go crappie fishing, if you already have a waypoint and you can just shack up. But we were in explorer mode. Uh, we didn't have any info or anything. We just... Just winged it and... Froze. Froze, yeah. <laughs> broke, broke a little bit of gear, but... Yeah, we, the rest of the day turned out okay. Yeah, we, uh, you know, main goal yesterday was to get some tags and some fish and today we've got a little bit more freedom to let her breathe and, and it's a little bit nicer out. So we're going to hop on the, uh, back on the Wabagoon chain, hunt down some crappies, maybe a few walleyes and hopefully, uh, hopefully show you what this lake can hold because we, we both know it lives here and, um, you know, we got one, one short day here to, to unfold her, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. We should probably go there hey, instead of just parking and talking to a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. All right, we're back in the old crappie basin here. Picked a new little section of it. Not a hole in sight, not a person in sight. We're going to be on the move quite a bit, so um, we'll get everything set up once we uh, hopefully get on them here. Just going to move fast. There's tons of water. There's tons of water that can hold crappies. Might uh, might take a few minutes, might take a few hours, but we're gonna catch up to these hubcaps at some point here. Should get a chance here. She's slinking over. Oh yeah. God, I hope not. Come on, baby. We're frozen up here from the outside patrol. I got the big crappie. Yep, yeah. <laughs> we're on them. <laughs> <laughs> Should 
goody. Little BMC rattle spoon, still the walleye bait from yesterday. Doesn't really matter when you're out hopping around. Um, you find fresh ones and they'll eat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not a big one. It's probably a 12 incher. Good to break ground and yeah, we're on. First Wabagoon crappie of the trip. Let's get to work. Pop some walls. Yep, all right, look at that. Down. VMC rattler, no meat, just put her down hard. I ain't gonna call these smart fish. These aren't giants yet, but beauty 12 inches. We're, uh, we're around them. We're just out in the middle of the basin on the proverbial needle in the haystack, but luckily on Wabagoon, there's lots. <laughs> Got a boy, Billy Dance. Little VMC spoon, straight metal. You're waiting in line at Clark's this morning for meat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the meat's going down soon yet. Don't worry about that. Oh, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Apparently you don't need it though. She's raining meat. <laughs> I love dumb ones. <laughs> I know that look. <laughs> that a boy. There's a big fish swimming through high. Big predator. Holy smoking, look at that thing. You get a big one? Not a boy. Here comes a big fish. Great big fish. Got him. Huge suspendo. White fish or walleye, I'm saying. Uh oh. We got issues. Major issues. Major Tangle issues. Tangle up in your fancy gear. Here. What's that there? Something big. Yeah, whitey. Oh, whitey. Oh, cool. Oh. And you got a big crappie. Yeah, that's deadly. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the chain. <laughs> Should we tag a whitey? Are we no, <laughs> that's dirty pool. That's a big one. It'll end up in a smoker. You'll smoke the tag. Look at that. <laughs> same trigger, the same time. Nice 13 inch crappie and whatever that is for whitefish. Cool. <laughs> The old carp. <laughs> nice. We're on him, bud. All right, we just made a short hop. Uh, that last spot was just out in the middle of the basin. We caught up with a few, set up, and obviously they just kept rolling. So we're gonna kind of swing in to, and just see where this basin swings in and touches long points and things like that and try to just set up where the rock meets the mud. Uh, you know, and, and stay on the mud side of it. And that just gives them something to slow up on. I mean, you can go fish the middle of these basins anywhere there's crappies and they're gonna swim through at some point, but we're looking for something a little more high percentage and, you know, somewhere where we can kind of settle in a little bit. But for now it's been, you know, it's been easy. Just come out, a couple holes, a couple fish, and let's keep her going here. First fish in the new spot, first hole, scoped around. She's looking pretty decent around there. When they're eating the spoon like that right out of the gate, that's all you can ask for. See you later, girly. Back straps on that one. <laughs> uh, yep. That's a beauty. We're, uh, we're not conforming to the handbook. The slake's good enough, you can just hop around. We're, you know, one person fishing, one person drilling. Uh, we're, we're still looking for the mother load, but you know it's good when you can just hop around and pop off random beauties. That's certainly a nice one. We're gonna, uh, we'll unpin them. We're not gonna tag this one, we'll unpin them, tuck them back and carry on. Can't see you yet. Oh. Jiggly? Yeah, I like your chances. Raise it up a little higher. The shaker there, you're gonna get smoked. It's a good mark too. You got her. <laughs> what do you got? Hand fish. You could lie to the folks at home and just say you're using traditional methods, no electronics. <laughs> You got old Geppetto behind the scenes pulling the strings. Hey, okay, you're gonna get one. Q 
keep shaking her on the spot. That thing's right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, just sent John over fishing blind and did old coach's corner back there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do that all day. What do you think? Sarah Palin with them? Let's do it. <laughs> Got him. Uh oh. <laughs> we are on, Ron. Oh, yeah. With a magnum. Yeah. For the strength. We have been letting the 14 inch plusers go, but. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Good oh, night, yeah. Irene. Yep. Good night, Irene. <laughs> Pickle sticked them. <laughs> We're fighting with fire at the live scope hole, hey? <laughs> yeah. Good eat. Oh. Yeah, another high 13. Sweet. I'm not kidding you, this is the last couple spots has just been drill a hole and land on a couple and it's been worth it. There's a there's a ton of this lake that we want to see and a ton of spots we want to try, so we're not getting comfy anywhere and can't seem to go wrong so far. All right, I think we're shutting her down. Um, had a good day on the crappie hunt. Totally redeemed our single hour we spent yesterday morning freezing and and uh, braving the conditions. So, uh, I mean, mission accomplished, I'd say. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Yeah, fishing new water. It's it's fun. I mean, it's fun to just wheel up on a on someone else's waypoint or a spot you know, but. It's also fun to just hop around and do a little exploring. Yeah, and there's very few places where you can fruitfully explore where if you strike out, you still catch a couple. So, I mean, had a good day. Caught them everywhere we went. Yeah, yeah, didn't strike out anywhere. Um, you know, got some real nice ones and and a few for the pale. Uh, Wabagoon chain, definitely worth a look. Uh, you know, there's tons of places to stay in Dryden, tons of restaurants to really make it simple. I mean, you've seen on the drone and you've seen around, you're not going to see any people once we get off the ice road. Uh, it's just, you know, it, it's amazing how quiet it is out here and nice. And uh, I've, it's definitely a destination I'd be putting on my, on my ice fishing bucket list. It's actually, it's the first weekend in February right now. So this is right dead center in the winter. I mean, as the days go on, those crappies in the basin should just congregate and congregate. And there's going to be some big swaths of them you know, ripping around soon and you know, the, the walleyes will always fire up, but I, uh, I wish I was here in a couple weeks for, for the mayhem. Oh, you got some bass uh, fishing to do. Is that what I heard? Yeah. I got to go bass fishing in the U S when it's, when it's going to be real good for ice fishing around here. But yeah. this was, uh, this was a good weekend. I'll take it. Don't, uh, don't forget to grab your tags. If you're heading out on the chain, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll link it in here and you can find your way. Um, got to shout out Dale and Cindy. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the housing and accommodations and really made a guy feel at home. So <laughs> We're, we might do a little bit more walleye fishing and wrap it up, but I'll be honest, we've been dragging this camera around for two days and all the paraphernalia that goes with it and i am sick of it i <laughs> we're kind of owner owner player coach on the on the filming front right now we're trying to find fish on new spots catch fish on new spots and film it all to bring you with us so uh thanks for tuning in uh, thanks john for coming out and oh yeah uh, it's a pleasure yeah anytime bud yeah hopefully you guys check out the wabagoon and if you do take care of this gem don't come fill your buckets to the brim you know couple for the pan that's fine and uh yeah. let let go all your big ones and man this place yeah. will probably be getting better for years to come oh yeah i'll be back yeah i'll be back hopefully see you guys out on the water yep okay see you soon